actually we're going to look at children. See, we are uh, last uh, class also we saw training methods. In this class, oh, class we are going to continue with training methods. Okay, now mentoring method. Uh, shall we recall that uh, previous uh, thing uh, in children? See, before we saw. Um, uh, what the introduction of training method and then what is the purpose of training method before and then uh, steps in designing a training program uh, that uh, whom, uh, whom to train, who is the trainee, who is the trainer like that we saw and then training methods we saw on the job training and off the job training in the uh, in that on the job training we, are, we saw coaching method uh, alone isn't it now we are going to see entering method. Okay, see it is the process of sharing knowledge and experience of an employee. See what is entering method mean? The senior person or uh, a senior most person who is sharing his knowledge to the employees, newly joined employees or training trainers. Okay, so train and training the trainer is giving a training to that employee. Uh, in, in this experience, he will share. Okay. The focus in this training is on the development of attitude of training. So, they are uh, finding out the attitude of the training, how you will behave, how, 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 you, how you are performing, uh, what, what is the behaving of, uh, in a public place. Everything they will see. It is always done by senior person. Already I said, not the senior person, one who will share his experience. It is also one to one interaction, like coaching. So, one, one people will coach one, one person only. Okay. Besides this, mentor is responsible for the providing necessary support to trainers and feedback on the performance of the trainer. So, he will uh, teach everything and then he will observe you how you are doing or what you are. Uh, how you are uh, behaving, whether you are a responsible person or not, everything they will analyze and then only uh, and finally they will give feedback about the uh, performance of the training. Okay, and then job rotation method. It is an important method for broadening the knowledge of executives. Job rotation means they will um, uh, for, for a particular time you will be working in one department and then again they will change you in some other department and then again they will change you. Often they will change your department. Why they are doing like this? Then you can broaden your knowledge. You can uh, you, you you should learn all the departments. You should uh, know everything about all the departments. All the departments, all the works you should. So you should learn. That's why they are giving like this. Okay. Under this method, the trainee is periodically shifted from one work to another work. If they will uh, shift twice, they will change your work. And from one department, division to another department, division for a particular period of time. Sometimes they will change your department, otherwise they will change your division, otherwise they will change the division for a particular period of particular time. They will they will be changing. Okay, period of time they will be changing. The main aim of job rotation is to expose the employee to various interrelated jobs. So you should learn about each and everything in the organization. You should know everything. You should learn everything. That's why they are often changing the uh, places. Okay, so that is called as job rotation. Job instruction method. In this method. Trainer at the supervisory level gives some instruction to an employee to how to perform his job and his work. So, what the trainer will do now, he will take a particular place and then he will show and he will give instruction how to work in that. For example, a machine is there, this is how to work in this machine. He will take you to that particular place and then he will show everything and then he will teach you. Okay. Apprenticeship training method. The apprentice, uh, apprentice or trainee learns the job knowledge and skills from the trainer or su uh, su 
inferior or senior worker. So after the ship training also, what is the trainer is giving the, the trainer is the senior most officer, senior worker in that uh, organization. He is giving teach the training in that uh, uh, organization. Okay. So if you uh, the trainee learns the job, knowledge and skill, everything he will learn in the, from the superior officer. Generally, the apprenticeship training is given to the technical harder like that mechanic, electrician, craftsman, welder, builder, etc. Yeah. So in the organization, you know that the so many persons will be there. There are mechanic will be there, electrician will be there, craftsman will be there. So they are only they need uh, technical knowledge, isn't it? So this apprenticeship training is very very helpful for this type of workers. Okay. This duration of the training program ranges from 1 to 5 years. So, the apprenticeship training will be uh, more than uh, 1 year. Okay. The training gets the stipend during the training period. So, on that time, the training period, they will be getting a salary. Okay. Minimum salary, they will be getting that is called a stipend. Okay. Some amount they will be getting. So, they are learning and doing and then learning and earning. So, all the things happen in the uh, training period itself. Okay. Committee assignment. When employees are assigned to committee to address a particular issue, they are able to work closely with other members and committee leaders. They gain more knowledge by observing and participating in the decision making process. So this committee you know they will sit and they will sit in a group and then they will talk uh, about a topic. Okay. They will uh, uh, talk and then they will analyze they will uh, debate like a debate okay so they gain more knowledge about that particular topic okay so they are uh, others uh, they are observing they, they can expose their knowledge observing and participating in decision making process okay so they will sit together and when they are talking in a particular topic they will be saying more about the each and every person will uh, show their uh, knowledge okay they can share their uh, things share their knowledge, uh, experience, and then uh, how to decision making, everything they will uh, analyze. So that is very, uh, very effective, uh, effective uh, uh, training. Okay. Internship training method. A superior gives training to a subordinate or understudy like that, assistant to a manager or a director. Yeah. The senior most person, a superior person will be there in the company for he will be more. He will Make assistant uh, assistant. Uh, the trainer will become an assistant. Okay, trainee will become an assistant. But uh, assistant of a manager or a director or whatever it may be. So whatever they are uh, teaching, immediately they they will learn. Okay, whatever they are doing and seeing itself, they can learn. The subordinates learn through experience and observation by participating in handling day to day problems. So what the subordinate will do automatically. They can uh, they, they can learn through experience and observation. So how to, how the senior person is working, how they are uh, behaving, how how they are interacting, everything they are learning blindly. So the participating in handling day to day problems, how they are uh, uh, solving the problem, day to day problems, how they are solving, how they are handling everything they are learning through this. Okay. Basic purpose of internship training is to prepare subordinates for assuming the full responsibility and duty. So main main purpose of internship training is what you know prepare subordinates for assuming the full responsibility and duties. So what are the responsibilities their subordinate is, uh, is having? What are the duties they are having? Everything they can learn. Okay, so that is called as internship training method. Now we are going to see off the job training. Off the job training in the sense. Of the job training refers to the training which is given to the employee away from the actual workplace. The on the job training, in the sense, inside the organization, inside the campus, they are learning everything. They are seeing the missionaries, they are seeing the senior officers, they are, they are learning everything. So, but off the job training, in the sense, they are going out from the workplace. So, they are learning outside the uh, play, uh, uh, thing. Okay, so they are going outside and learning so many things through the uh, uh, for example, role play method or lecturer method or uh, uh, 
case study method like that. So many methods are there, and we are going to speak later. So, at, uh, away from the actual workplace only, they are, they are going to get training. So that is called as off the job training. Off the job training comprises of a place specifically allotted for the training purpose, which may be near the actual workplace. That the workers are required to learn the skills and get well equipped with the tools and techniques that are to be used at the actual work flow. So, the off the job training comprises of a place with a place specifically allotted for the training purpose. So, particular uh, training place will be allotted for the trainings and then they will go there and they will learn. So, which may be nearer the actual workplace. It may be, it may be nearer to the workplace only, but uh, sometimes they, they will take them to be, uh, for example, if uh, aeronautic engineers or uh, uh, like, uh, marine engineers are there, also, they will take them to that particular place and they will show everything. So, like that. Okay. So, the learner, the ex ex uh, skills, and get will equipped with the tools and techniques that are to be used at the actual workplace. Whatever uh, they are getting in the work, uh, actual workplace, that uh, the same thing they will be getting in the outside the workplace. Okay. So, for example, you can see marine engineering colleges and all the model of the ship they will be keeping at the back side of the college. You can see while you are going to um, the money. So, you can see the ship, you can, uh, the, the people will go there and then they can learn. Okay, they are uh, they're keeping a model. Okay, so the model is there, and then they, they will show that model, and they can learn. Okay, they will teach. Lecturer method. In this method, trainees are educated about concepts, theories, principles, and application of knowledge in any particular area. See what they will do. Lecturer, you, you can see uh, many uh, yes, uh, colleges and all the uh, lecturer will give. Uh, professors will give lecture. Okay, they will uh, while they are showing the A B and uh, they can show clippings and all. They will explain about that. Okay, so in this method, trainees are educated about concepts. They are uh, they are telling the concepts. They are teaching the concepts, theories, and then what are the principles we should follow and application of knowledge in your particular area. Which area you are going? To, you you have to be trained. So that area only they are going to teach you. Trainer may be generally drawn from colleges, universities, consultancy institutions, manufacturing concerns, union, etc. So, already I said, no, the colleges and all uh, the lecturers will come and take classes. So, same way, we all the receiving most person, those who are having a highly knowledgeable and then they are very well in a particular area, that person will come and take to classes. They are like a class, teacher is teaching, a, teaching in a classroom like that. They impart training effectively by their Oratorical skills, knowledge and practical knowledge using audio visual tools. So, automatically they will show some audios and videos, everything. So, uh, through this uh, video, through the uh, audios and all, you are uh, uh, improving your knowledge and practical knowledge using audio and visual. So, uh, whatever practical knowledge is they got, that they will come and show you. Okay, that, that is the lecturer method. Group discussion method. So, have you heard that word group discussion? So in you know, IT companies and all, if you are going and joining a group, they will keep a group discussion. A group of people participate and discuss particular subjects or one topic. Only one topic, how they are handling it. So e each person will handle it in a different way. So the, uh, uh, even a sim simple problem, how you, uh, we will solve. So each person will have a different type of opinion. So the, under this method, participants are divided into various groups. So they will form some groups. They have provided a particular issue for deliberation. So each person will get a each topic. Okay, particular issue, for example, particular issue they are giving. Each group has to prefer solution after deep discussion with their group member. They will discuss it, they will sit and discuss themselves and then they will find a solution. Okay. The group leader has to present the solution of the audience to the audience, which will be discussed or deliberated by other groups. So what they will do now, they will find a solution and they, any one person will stand up and say, well, so many things, we talked about that, okay, we found a solution like that, they will say. Moderator will give final solution after listening to deliberation. So, who is monitoring that person? That person will observe everything and then he will tell you the final solution. That is called as group discussion. Case study method. 
trainees are described as situation which stimulate their interest to find a solution. So, yeah, so some uh, some issues they they are giving in the thing they should uh, describe about the situation and then it stimulate their interest to find a solution. So some uh, some problem, for example, some problem they are giving to a particular person. How to solve the problem? How to find a solution for that problem? So like that. They have to use their theoretical knowledge and practical knowledge to find solution to the problem. So what problem they have given to you? you how you are handling the problem? How you are applying your knowledge, practical knowledge and theory knowledge? How you are applying them? Find out. There is an there is no single solution to the problem. So whatever problem it may be, you you are not getting a single solution. Okay, you will find so many solution. It may be depending upon new points of training. So how what is your review? So how you are approaching that problem? How we are finding solution for that problem. Everything they will have. In short, the purpose of case study method is to make trainee apply their knowledge. So, uh, all the knowledge the person will apply. The trainee will apply and then he will find a solution. So, when it happened, where it happened, how it happened, what it happened, uh, everything he will uh, freeze his uh, mind and then he will finalize it. Okay. Role play method. Under this method, trainees are explaining the situation and assigned role. For example, a, a, like a drama, you can think. Okay, they will give, a, for example, a salesman and a, a shopkeeper, or a medical representative and a, a doctor, like that. You can think, or you can think. Okay, so under this method, trainees are explaining the situation and assigned role. They will give some role. They have to act out the roles uh, assigned to them, assigned to them without any rehearsal. There is no rehearsal for that. Immediately you have to act and show. How you are, if you are a shopkeeper or a salesman like that. Thus they have to assume the role and play the role without any preparation. There is no preparation. Immediately you have to act and show. The moderator after observing the role plays gives his view to the role player. So after observing everything, what the moderator will say? So uh, the how you how you acted, how you played. So if there is a role is apt for you. So uh, the few points he will say. So he will say the feedback. Okay. And then tomorrow we will see children. So far, what are all I do? So do you understand? Are you able to hear me? Do you understand children?